it's mainstream media has caught on yet, because I've noticed that it is more blogs and sort of independent publications that maybe cover, or like, Box Magazine, <laughs> um, which does cover web and music, but has the mainstream caught on? Not quite sure yet, because, you know, as far as you're talking about mainstream acts, these huge, you know, these huge stars, you know, there's just a lot of money put into their exposure. And, you know, I think it's whoever has the biggest budget is going to get that mainstream exposure and it doesn't matter what your gender is and that is for. Yeah, for a nan or cake, are your artists getting covered in more mainstream publications or is it still more of the underground? Um, it really varies by artists and uh, we have certain artists that take off and get a lot more mainstream coverage than others. And, and, you know, thinking about what makes a difference, I think for any artist having a good, you know, good promo photos helps, but it probably does help more for women because the men are trying to, generally, the men are trying to be beautiful. They're trying to look whatever style they are. Um, and so it probably helped having a beautiful promo photo uh, you know, Lydia Loveless to get the reader to put her on the cover last week. Now, it takes all the other pieces being in place in her career that they consider that, but then having a great photo where, you know, where she looks beautiful or glamorous, you know, certainly helps. Um, something else I was going to bring up, and, and that's a, you know, women still do have a different communication style than men. And I think that having more women in the music business and behind the scenes helps helps the female artists because the women who are more comfortable working with women or taking certain advice from women can you know have that option today and not just about style um, or fashion but in all areas of their career. So I think that you know as more women are in the industry and in the you know, behind the scenes jobs, that helps build, you know, more women artists or allows more women artists to be comfortable and uh, give good advice and move up, uh, you know, as artists in their careers. Yeah, can you have any comments? Yeah, I was just thinking about you being in the rap world. I actually had a rap legal client that went to the studio to visit, and it's so common to just have open studio hours. I didn't see a single female there, and it didn't seem like an environment that really fostered inviting the women in. And I'd love to learn like, what your experience is in um, Chicago, because I was watching these kids just like streaming in and out of the studio for three solid hours for free. And no, no, no. When I walked in the room, they kind of did this. Oh, I would say this, but there's a oh, sure. lady in the room. Um, I, I've definitely been used to being the only female around for miles. You know, I've been on tours with guys and, you know, after about two weeks they do forget that a female is in there because, you know, some of the things that come out of guys' mouth on tour are just crazy. So, I've, I've seen and heard um, it all, you know. Um, for, for me, I've never really been uncomfortable because I'm not uh, in a groupy role and, you know, I established that very very quickly, and I don't even really have to say it. Um, I've always kind of had, you know, I've had some big brothers in, in, in my career as well, so I've, and I've always um, been able to be in certain situations where, where my reputation preceded me as far as like my skill set. So I was always like respected as a lyricist. And when I go to the studio, and specifically the studio, it's like time is money, even if the, the studio time is free. So I'm not in there like, carrying it on, like, let's go to the bar for that, let's go, you know, let's do this afterwards, but um, for me, I, I've never been particularly uncomfortable in the studio, but I have been in some situations where I, I do kind of just become the furniture and just kind of listen and, and then kind of become a sponge um, and not really say anything, even if I'm, you know, even if I'm like, wow, you guys are being <laughs> quite open with your love of the female form right now, so. Um, you know, it's always colorful conversation, but I've never been super uncomfortable in that situation. Yeah, going back to now what you were saying about having a nice cool shot. So I'm wondering if um, the sort of idea of the image of women in music, the image consulting, or the how they dress, if that is changing. Because certainly it seems like we have more women who are able to be their androgynous selves and still get 
cover and respect it. Is that is that changing? I'll put it to one of my pajamas here, to be honest. <laughs> um, Fluffy won't let me. Um, I can't really, I can't really do that, you know. And I think what you were saying is true, you know. Have a great press photo. You're you're gonna get some more opportunities just because you you look you look good in your photo. I, I think it just you know, it happens like that. Um, is the photo everything? No, but does a great one help? Absolutely. And you know, the, the longer I stay in the the game, as it were, you know, I have to have more in, intensive stylings and fittings because I am getting older too, and you know, I want to um, I want to look my best. I always want to look comfortable. Um, I I sometimes play with the androgyny thing, um, but. Being a woman in hip hop is something that you know I take um, very seriously, and I definitely want my my feminine voice to be heard. And but then I did grow up as a top boy, so I had to really you know break a lot of habits. You know I can't wear can't wear tennis shoes all the time. You know what I mean? I would love to, but on you know on stage, I guess I guess I the Doc Martens. You know it's a it's a compromise. You know what I mean? I think I think some female artists they know they're hot. That's what they're doing, you know. They're doing the hot thing. You're hot. That's cool. But uh, you know, for a lot of women, we have to find our, our our style. Not only just as everyday women, but 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 you know, dealing with being in the spotlight. You want to be concerned about you know, looking looking your best.